What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Random Duplication. This is Video Game Graveyard, I'm NerdyGamerXD. Today we're going to be re reviewing games that hit close to my heart and close to home. Hopefully it hits close to heart for you guys as well. If you guys see any games that you guys like during this video, leave a like down below. Also comment down below if you guys want more content like this. Anyways, I'm not going to waste a lot of you guys' time, we're just going to jump right into the video. Number 1. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver is an action adventure video game developed by Crystal Dynamics and published by Eidos Interactive. It was released for the PlayStation and Microsoft Windows in 1999 and for the Dreamcast in 2000. The community loved the world building and the puzzles and the dialogue, but for me, I loved the combat system where you could just take people's souls of your enemies. You can skip to the 340 mark that's stamped on the screen right now or enjoy the rest of this amazing gameplay. Number 2 Tomba It's a 1997 platform adventure game developed by Whoopi Camp and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation. It was released in Japan in 1997 and in other territories the following year. Sony had partial rights to Tomba and Goho Online Entertainment, a Japanese-based company. I really love Tomba for its really comedic gameplay and its really artistic, cartoonist art style. This game really doesn't hold back on anything. It's, it has really great character development and overall just very great side crawler gameplay. The whole time you're fighting these pigs because they steal your bracelet. And it's the most funniest game I think I've ever played when I was a kid.
Number 3. Pepsi Man is an action video game developed and published by Kid for the PlayStation. It was released in Japan on March 4th, 1999, and is based on the infamous Japanese superhero mascot for the American carbonated soft drink Pepsi. Every time he drinks, he has his own theme song. Like, I never thought that Pepsi had their own mascot. Not only that, I didn't know they even had their own game. Take a look at this. Let's start the game! Pepsi Man! Ah, oh, Pepsi Man! You got here just at the perfect time! I got a call that a vending machine ahead ran out of Pepsi! And I was just on my way there, but, but I got a flat tire. There are a bunch of people gathered in front of the vending machine. They want Pepsi! And the word is that they're just about to riot! I plan to head over there as soon as I can fix this flat. But it looks like it's gonna take some time. Can't you do something, Pepsi Man? Number four. Nightmare Creatures is a 1997 survival horror video game developed by Callisto Entertainment for PlayStation, Microsoft Windows, and Nintendo 64. A sequel, Nightmare Creatures 2, was released three years later. A mobile version of the Nightmares Creatures was developed and published by Gameloft in 2003. Nightmare Creatures was one of the scariest games I played as a kid. There is one scene that I put in here that it's a jump scare that scared the living kid out of me. I kid you not, this game was one of the best games I've ever played. Should no one stop him, this city will be consumed by a horde of nightmare creatures.
Number 5 We got the fan favorite, The Neverhood. The Neverhood is a 1996 point-and-click adventure video game developed by The Neverhood Inc. and published by DreamWorks Interactors from Microsoft Windows. The game follows the adventures of a claymation character named Clayman as he discovers his origins and his purpose in a world made entirely out of clay. This game actually has a very interesting backstory. The character animations and everything was actually picture by picture clay. So every movement that he's doing is literally a picture and a guy moving that character inch by inch, piece by piece, finger by finger. This was the most innovative game I've ever seen in my life because I thought this was all made in engine which was not the case at all. It was photo by photo animation, which makes this game even more amazing and even more complicated and technical I've never thought about ever before. <laughs> 